we use a lot of tomato sauce in our recipes. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do a quick, perfect tomato sauce the modern male way. So we've got a mixture here of Roma tomatoes and tomatoes off the vine. The first thing we have to do is preheat our oven to 450. And the first thing I'm gonna do is hit these with a little bit of olive oil, some garlic powder, Italian seasoning, and oregano. And I'm gonna throw them right into the oven for about 45 minutes. All right, so since we have some time, we're gonna do a little prep to make a meat sauce using ground turkey. So the first thing we're gonna do is chop up some onions. We don't have to get too fancy with these. So we're gonna throw these onions right into the pan with the oil. That's the sound you want. So we're gonna toss these around a little bit. We're gonna add our ground turkey to this. We're gonna season it with sea salt, dry Italian seasoning, and of course, some cayenne pepper. All right, and once your meat is fully cooked, take half of it out and set it aside. We don't need the whole thing for the meat sauce. Add some red wine to the bottom of the pan. Then increase the temperature to let the alcohol cook out of the red wine, and then that's gonna be a good base for our sauce. So after about 45 minutes, tomatoes will look perfectly roasted. So we're just gonna pull these right out of the oven, set them aside and let them rest for a little bit because we're gonna cut them up and just go right into the blender. Once these rest, just chop them up a little bit, make them into manageable pieces. So we're gonna throw these right into the blender, really easy. Pulse these a few times. I don't want to pulse them too much. I don't want to puree this. I like my sauce a little rustic, just a little chunky. But look at that. Once you've let the wine simmer a little bit so all the alcohol evaporates out of it, we're just going to add our tomato sauce and give that a nice stir. This is going to be the base for one of the most amazing meat sauces. We're going to season this a little bit as well with some dry garlic powder. Italian seasoning, dry oregano, salt, and of course, because I want to bring the Creole into everything, some cayenne pepper. While the sauce is cooking, I'm gonna cut up a couple of bell peppers here. Just add it to the onions that we already had chopped up. And I'll show you guys how to use this sauce in a really amazing way. So check this out. We're gonna make a perfect flatbread pizza using a flour tortilla. So take our tortilla, add some olive oil, and give that a nice spread. So it covers the whole thing. So we're just gonna take our sauce now and add it right to the tortilla. It's gonna be our base for our pizza. Don't get shy with the sauce either. Be liberal. This is one of the most amazing pizzas you've ever had. Believe me. So we're just gonna hit this with some freshly grated mozzarella cheese. You can do a combination of mozzarella and fontina, but this time we're just gonna do mozzarella. And if you're like me, you love a lot of cheese on your pizza. I mean, come on, why not, right? Then we're just gonna take that mixture of onion and bell pepper and distribute it pretty evenly. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just make sure every bite has a little bit in it. Spread that around. We're gonna hit this with some dry oregano, a little bit of cayenne, then we're gonna hit it with another layer of cheese. Not a thick layer, just a little bit. Then you're just gonna pop that into your preheated oven for about 10 minutes. And look at that, you get a perfect looking pizza. I'm a thin crust guy. I love thin crust flatbread pizza. Unless I'm going deep dish, I gravitate towards the thin crust. And with this recipe, you get a perfect, easy, homemade thin crust pizza, and you don't have to buy frozen. Everything's fresh, and you have complete control over your toppings and your ingredients. So we can even take it and toss it around in some pasta. And we'll just plate it like this, a nice healthy serving. And then we'll hit it with just a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top. And then we'll just hit it with a little bit of dry oregano. And there you have it, a perfect homemade tomato sauce that goes a long way. It's versatile and it's perfect for a lot of different applications and recipes. Stay tuned and we'll show you a lot more. And for now, enjoy.